Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you a point of sale app designed for Android devices uh, available to download on a website called mypost-app.com. It's a straightforward download from the website. There's nothing to register. Um, also, there are no membership fees or ongoing fees. Uh, and the app works 100% offline. Uh, you download the app, the data is stored on the device uh, and it's yours. The website kind of explains all the features and functions uh, using videos and screenshots but I would reckon you download the software and uh, give it a try. So I have already installed this software on my phone um, and I'm using an 80 millimeter thermal receive printer with a Wi-Fi interface uh, for this demo. I don't have any uh, cache drawers attached to it, but you have the option to open the cache drawer manually, or the software will open the cache drawer uh, when you when you print a receipt. Uh, the software is straightforward; got only four pages to work with. Uh, it displays the the menu. Uh, here it displays the sale. Here it displays the cash flow or the number of transactions transactions that you have done on a daily basis or on a weekly monthly yearly based on the the, the period that you choose uh, but pretty much this is an option where you check let's say for example today how much uh, cash card free and other items that you have sold with the total kind of you know it's your cash flow for the day uh, and product sales kind of represents um, uh, products that you have sold again um, today or any other period or any other day based on your selection and it shows uh, what you sold most with it price with its price uh, as, a, as a list let's go ahead and make a sale uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select a cappuccino and as an option I'm gonna choose uh, full cream and then uh, I'm gonna select a banana bread. So if you uh, tap on this uh, floating basket, we call it, like you know, three items that you have already selected, or swipe right, you go to your um, sales page. So it shows you your cappuccino with full cream, banana bread. And if you wanted to increase the, the quantity, you can go in here, you can go back and select another banana bread, or you can go here and make the quantity Two. Uh, the system has, uh, by the way, uh, settings um, where you can set up your uh, business details for the receipt uh, and your currencies and etc. Uh, and then you can uh, your your tax setup with the how what's your tax rate and whether the the tax is included in the price or uh, on top of the price. Um, and then on the settings you can define you with, with the consolidating and uh, the product is uh, default taxable the option to purge your records uh, enabling the barcode bar barcodes and you know things like that um, and then you can go into IP receipt uh, printer setup where you put your IP address of the printer and you connect so that the status will display whether you have any issues or you have success successfully connected to your IP printer. And now the the biggest feature of this software that I like is um, the demo data. Because for you to give it a try, it's really hard for you to set up items and you know try it out. But here the software is giving you um, four uh, uh, four kind of you know whether it's a uh, a cafe or a bakery, retail shop or a grocery shop, four varieties or four types of businesses uh, to choose so that it can load a sample menu uh, kind of gives you a head start to give it a try. Uh, the system has a, a security feature in few places where you might need this uh, password, four digit password. Uh, we, uh, it uses to avoid people doing uh, things mistakenly, especially when you are on a live environment. If someone goes goes ahead and accidentally load uh, a sample menu, that's going to overwrite your live menu. So to avoid that, 
uh, you really, really have to make effort to go into about sales, get the password and go ahead and uh, uh, go and load the, the, the sample menu. Uh, and then it will ask you for that password, which kind of, you know, you wouldn't do on a live situation. So going back to the sale, um, you got the total here and the price is including in my setup. Uh, the tax is included in the price. So that's why my tax is 1.09 uh, of $12 worth of a transaction. And uh, I have chosen a cappuccino with uh, full cream milk and two banana bread slices. And I'm going to go to pay. Now, uh, the system has four types of payment methods just to separate uh, uh, how you collect monies from your customers. Um, this, the, there are options or there are future uh, options to integrate your card transactions with uh, uh, card transactions with uh, Stripe. I just lost the word there um, and uh, also you know uh, there won't be any PayPal integrations but Stripe is a possibility uh, and then you can choose free items which is something that you might want uh, particularly to know how, how many items that you are giving out for free or any other mode of payment like vouchers and things like that you can put that through as other so that you can kind of quantify what you what you sell on which type of uh, payment. Um, the, the two buttons here represents your receipt printing of your receipts and docket. Uh, if you want to disable them both uh, by default you can choose that on the setup uh, but in my setup I, in this demo I'm going to enable them both so that I can show you what a docket and the receipt looks like. You can open the cash drawer manually on the bottom button here but uh, when you press pay um, Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and press pay and let it print the, the docket and the receipt. So the docket's going to look like that. It's it's what you, it's all you need. Um, you've got the the business details, you've got the receipt, the items, um, and the mode of payment with the tax receipt mentioned. And if you choose to print a docket, uh, like you know, like a food preparation docket or uh, anything that you wanted to give to the coffee uh, coffee guy to you know do the order uh, it's an option there for you to use now the transaction is here as $12 you can go here and you can go delete or reprint that receipt if the customer initially say don't worry about the receipt and then later asks for it uh, and then um, the, the, all those sales are accumulated on the products sales page so uh, at the end of the day you can check your cash flow of how much you have done and then just to give you an idea of what makes most the money or you know what are you selling most or not selling at all to to uh, figure out whether you want to still keep a particular item on the shelf uh, or not uh, it's it's there for you to use all right, let's uh, check out some uh, features uh, of the menu. Um, how easy to add a new product and how to edit a product, uh, play with your stock and things like that. To add a new product, you simply press the bottom uh, button to add a new product. And you can put your name, price, uh, a color you choose to uh, have on the background whether the product is an actual option like uh, two sugars or uh, medium mild hot or you know something like that uh, whether this product is taxable because you know you can have let's say for example uh, a set of taxable products as well as a couple of uh, tax exempt products so you can manually um, um, configure that whether you want to enable or disable this product or not uh, and also uh, uh, the bottom section after the cancel and add button has the option to do your stock take on that product whether you want to display um, uh, so for example if you wanted to display the stock available for this particular product muffin press and hold uh, I would display the stock at the moment it's zero if it had any minus sign means that you have gone ahead and sold without uh, setting up inventory 
I'm sure that you don't need to set up inventory for all your items, but there could be a few items that you wanted to um, set up uh, inventory so that, for example, if you have if you have uh, 10 items on a daily basis for sale, um, beginning of the sale, you would put 10 there and you would know as you sell uh, how many items left to sell uh, by looking at the, the menu. So um, here in this example, I have to put a purchase price, purchase price, let's say a dollar and I have 10 units in hand and, uh, and it's a stock movement. So if you had a breakage or theft or whatever, uh, that you want wanted to re reduce your inventory you can uh, move out uh, but at the moment it's a stock coming in and if i update you'll see um, in this muffin now you've got 10 items and i have selected two items just to show you just to show you how it reduces uh, going to sell two muffins go to pay uh, and say pay by card i don't want tokens just the receipt go to pay only the receipt will print and now if i go to the muffin and it will display eight so it's a simple up and down um, you, if when you put the inventory in it will the quantity will go up and as you sell the quantity will go down um, as you can see you can color code your products uh, and you can mention whether it's uh, uh, like for example it's a uh, uh, a latte medium with full cream so uh, full cream is your option and, and latte is your uh, product so again just to show you if it's a product you leave the option as no and if it's an option you enable it as option so that on the sales page it will show as uh, an option with a star um, <coughs> You can attach a Bluetooth a barcode scanner and have your uh, products uh, with a barcode uh, number on it. A simple scan would pick that item and uh, bring it down onto the sales page. Uh, but that's mainly for retail shops, uh, retail kind of an environment rather than a, a takeaway or a cafe. So the good thing about the software, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, it does not have any fees associated. It's, there's no registrations or monthly membership fees. Uh, and uh, it works offline. You just install the software. Uh, and you can simply, if you want to reprint, that's something that I don't think I've explained. You press and hold. And, reprint. and this is the cash flow page where it shows all your transactions. Uh, there are so many little bits and pieces here and there features wise. Uh, this is just a basic demonstration. You're welcome to download the software from mypost-app.com. Give it a try and uh, like us on this uh, uh, video. Put your comments on, you know, if you have new features that you would uh, recommend. Uh, love to hear from you. Thank you.